Ah, there you are, dinky-doo. It's just me, Scotty McClue, by way of saying good evening to you. And Monday night, nothing gets past me, of course, and you're watching the Scotty McClue Show. We're live right across the globe on Facebook Live. That's the big one. That's the one everyone's watching. That's the one everyone is talking about. So what I thought I'd do is pop up and just say hi. We didn't have a show last night because there were some gremlins in the system. But here we are tonight just saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Now, you might not be expecting Scotty McClure to pop up right now, but having said that, that is what we are doing. So here I am, Scotty McClure, just for you, saying dinky-doo, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. And, of course, get the word out there. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Hey, says Ben Lucas. Hey to you, Ben Lucas. Great to see you, says Ben. Great to see you, Ben. Lovely to have you with us, dinky-doo. And, of course, we'll be having a few share points as we go on this evening. So there'll be quite a bit of that as well, just to let you know what's happening. Andy, all right, Scotty, too hotty, says Andy Carmichael. Andy Carmichael, what a character you are. I can tell you that for nothing. Ron Stewart's there and saying dinky-doo. Dinky-doo to you as well, Ron. Excellent stuff. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live just for you, saying dinky-doo with a little bit earlier tonight, a little bit late by one day, and a little bit earlier by one hour. So there you are. We're normally on 9 o'clock sharp, Facebook Live, Sunday night, saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Nice wee surprise. Hi from Dublin, says Gordon Ritchie. Gordon's in Dublin there. Dinky-doo, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us. You're staying on long. Sounds like it says Ben Lucas. Well, we didn't get a show last night, Ben. This is show number 85. So I thought I'd pop up and just say hi. Sunday night's out. Monday night now, says Michael McGuigan. Good one, Michael. Nick Baldy, how's the big one? No been on for a bit. No, we haven't been on for a wee bit, but here we are here saying dinky-doo. Good to see you, says Dee Gourley. And you, Dee. Kiss, kiss to you, my dear. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo. Excellent news happening. Lots of good things in the pipeline for your old chum, Scotty McClure. So send me lots of hearts. Tap, 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 tap on your screens. The audience was all gathered last night, says Ben Lucas. I know, Ben, and the gremlins were in the system. I had to go through a sort of um, the usual vetting procedure uh, with Facebook, and uh, that was the thing. That's all done now. Bring back the Radio Dynamite, Scotty, says Paul Francis Carroll. Paul Francis Carroll, you are Radio Dynamite. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, hello, sir, says James Bauer. Hello to you, James Bauer. And dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue. As I say, Monday night, nothing gets past me. Lots and lots happening, though, guys. My goodness me, what a busy news agenda we've had today. We've lost a Home Secretary. And we've got a new Home Secretary. What about that for the United Kingdom? James Bauer from the Taxi Owners Association in East Bride. How are you? Buffering, buffering, says Sharon McBain. Is that you, Sharon, or is it the programme? I say, I hope you're not buffering, because it doesn't sound like it's awfully good for you. Uh, that sort of thing. But uh, there might be a little bit of buffering every day, trying to get on to McClue and saying, what's happening here, for goodness sake? Nice surprise, Scotty. Wondered what was wrong last night, says Paul Smith. Yep, Paul, we didn't uh, manage to uh, trap last night, of course, because the gremlins were in the system. Ronnie Stevenson, hello from Morocco. Again, Scotty, Ronnie's in Morocco saying dinky-doo. But I thought I'd just pop up with show number 85, uh, because I don't like to let my public down, you see. Gordon Ritchie, dinky-doo, Phil Syme. Why no show last night? Back to Sunday next week. Yes, Phil, we'll be back to Sunday next week. Can everybody share this right now? Share, 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 share. I'm just going on to do a little bit of that myself on the other uh, device. So, uh, no, there was just no show last night. I couldn't get on to my page myself because uh, just new things that Facebook's doing just to check what is what. 
So that was that. So out of commission last night, but hopefully we're back loud and clear tonight. Can everybody see me? Uh, there we are. Very, very important. If you can let me know. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You'll not be expecting to see me, but it's Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster live just for you. Dinky do on Facebook Live. Uh, can't see you, Scotty. It won't load. But can you hear me, Alistair King? That's the thing. Can you actually hear me? Is that working? Um, I'm trying to get stuff loading up here too as well. What is it like? Everything seems to take so long. How much for a McClure's pie? I literally need some. Everybody needs a McClure's pie, Paul Francis Carroll. Everybody needs a McClure's pie without exception. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind. As I say, I'm a day late, but an hour earlier. So fair exchange is no robbery. Lovely to have you with us. Anybody feeling flush? If you want to put a couple of pounds into GoFundMe or PayPal, get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com, and you will get everything going there. Fantastic stuff. We also need alerts. Talking to a friend of mine tonight, and he says, Scotty, you need an app. So there we are, the Scotty McClue app. Green Town show at Oranmore went well on Saturday. Packed out it was, says James Barr. James Barr, I am not surprised at all. So there we are, excellent stuff. And Oranmore, of course, a fabulous venue. It might be one I will pop into myself and do an evening with Scotty McClue at some point. I'll talk to some people. I thought you were having a well-deserved Sunday night off, says Ivan Cohen. Ivan Cohen, very kind of you to say so. And, uh, you know, I might have a well-deserved Sunday night off at some point, but it was just gremlins in the system last night, and we had to get the page up and running again. So sincere apologies for uh, everybody that was expecting the show last night. If you're waiting with bated breath in anticipatory mood, uh, so there we are. Thank you, sir, says James Barron. Not all, James. You're a good guy. And, uh, in fact, a great guy. So there you are. And uh, you do lots of wonderful things, I see. If you want to come on and make a comment, please feel free to do so. If you've just joined us and you think, what on earth is going on? Is that Scotty McClue? Answer, yes. Just for you, Dinky Do. Scotty McClue has popped up big time on a Monday night. But uh, that's just because we had a problem last night with the McClue page. All appears to be well now. Have you getting everything loud and clear? Could you get the page today? I would ask you. I think that's important. Did you manage to get the play, the the um, page today, the play? <laughs> there we are. Talking too much about performance there. And I'm coming out with the word play instead of page. Excellent stuff. Now, what I'm doing here, guys, I'm just going on to the old... Um, there we are. That's what you want. Just going on to the old Facebook and uh, on the other devices. So everything's running in tandem here. Very, very important to get that across. A lot of stuff running in tandem. Uh, there we are. I'll just move you back over and we'll see what is what. Can you all see me there? I see. What have we got here? Um, oh, yes. Ivan. Yes, no. Thanks for that. Very, very interesting. Um, but I did miss you all last night. And I thought that was rather worrying. So there you go. Sorry if I'm looking up and just getting this logged on as well. So many things to log on, isn't there? You would think you could have some magic thing that it just logged into everything and sorted all that out. So there you are. If you've uh, just joined us, a very warm welcome. Robert McHardy, bonjour, Scotty. Live from Bonnie Montrose. Robert's up in Bonnie Montrose. Tremendous stuff. Um, I'm going to perform... To you, matey, soon, says Paul Francis Carroll. We love it, Paul Francis Carroll. You're a wonderful performer. What a player. An organist par excellence, I say. Oh, marvellous. There we go. Just appeared. So I'm just going to share this, guys. Let everybody know what's happening. And uh, let them know that we're on live right now. And if you can all do the same. Can we share, 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 Let everybody know Scotty McClure is on and say dinky-doo. Nice tie. I thank you. 
Pure Silk, Paul Francis Carroll. I know you appreciate some of the finer things in life. And uh, there we are. What happened? Why am I here? Says Emma Cash. Because you've come to join us, Emma Cash. There you are. It's actually Monday night. Monday night, Emma. Do not worry. Monday the 30th. Yes, absolutely nothing gets past me. So there you are. And uh, we decided we couldn't get on last night. So I decided to pop up and explain myself. Because I think that's a decent thing to do. Explain yourself, McClure. Where were you last night? Hello, Scotty. Been 20 years since I heard your voice on Scott FM. Late night chat, says Stuart Diamond. Dinky do, Stuart. Tell all your friends. Share right now, Stuart. And let everybody know. I'm just sharing away here with the, with different things. Ah, my goodness me. I think I've just shared that twice to the same one. Right, I'll do it again. Concentrate with Clue, for goodness sake. Stop all this nonsense. So what we're doing, we're sharing to the page. Yes, that's happening. There's so many different things to be sharing. Hello, Scotty. Lovely to hear from you. Lovely to hear from you guys. Great to know you're out there. But as I say, um, here we go here. Get sharing and sharing and sharing uh, as much as you possibly can. I shall share this one here and let everybody know. Yeah, that's that. And uh, one more. There we go. Uh, Mark Clegg says, hi. Hi, Mark. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClue Live on Facebook Live. Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every single one of you. Still no pick or sound, Scotty, says Alistair King. So what are you getting then, Alistair? How do you know I'm on if you haven't any picture and you haven't got any sound? That's what we need to know. How can you actually say that I am on? If you need a promoter, message me. I've got lots of things going on. I'd love to promote a live audience with you. Thank you, James. Excellent stuff. It's something that we should be looking into. Scotty, I only found you on Facebook a few weeks ago. Do you still have a radio talk show anywhere? I used to love your interaction with the colours. Paul Smith, there are big, big discussions going on about Scotty McClure coming back live on a radio talk show. But to be honest, the audiences are so massive on social media. You see, I'm on LinkedIn and uh, I've got uh, about uh, 6,700 followers on LinkedIn. We could probably rustle up about another 10,000 here on Facebook. We've had one of the YouTubes has had 200,000 people. So there we are. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue, Facebook Live with Scotty McClure. Dinky you do, says Robert McHardy. You have not lost your touch, Robert McHardy. That is fantastic. Right, what I'm just going to do is uh, send this one out. Um, folks, I am sharing at the moment. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. So there we go. What have we got here? There we are. Lovely. And uh, if you can do the same, guys, it's a great help if we can tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Stuart Diamond says, oh, hi, Scott. This is Mark Campbell from Bonnie Bridge in Scotland. How are you doing, big man? Dinky do to Bonnie Brig up there. Fantastic. Have you heard from Lynchman? Always loved you hanging up on him, says Stuart Diamond. I do meet some of these people. It's quite uncanny and quite fantastic but i do meet some of these people and uh, it really is brilliant i'll just put it on here live now guys and let this get out there there we are out we go spread the words i say all right scotty says kenny og uh, all right scotty lad emma cash do you and alan bezik fight no we don't whenever i've met alan bezik it's always been actually extremely cordial we have the entente cordial so there we are. But uh, I don't necessarily agree with Alan. I have to say that. I was up 21. I used to record the main man, Scotty. I phoned the legend. I was piano man. Piano man, you were indeed fantastic stuff. And we remember you. Uh, so there you are, 21. Daniel Watts watching. Thank you. Hello, Scotty. How are you doing? Last time I heard you, you were on Q96 FM. What happened to Q96 FM? It got sold, and it became something else. 
You dinky do, Scotty, great to see hear you again, says Rich Kent, and you, Rich, always lovely to hear you. Daniel Watt looking good, so are you, sir. Sharon McBain, eventually, Scotty, nice to see you, to see you nice. Hello, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. How fantastic is that? Everybody seems to be with us tonight. Absolutely incredible. Tremendous stuff. Now, I just thought I'd pop up. We didn't get a show last night. This is show number 85. But you'll also see them uploaded to YouTube. And uh, I'm on Twitter. 4,000 followers. Go and follow me on Twitter, guys. At Scotty McClue. So there you are. Just follow me on Twitter. At Scotty McClue. That would be amazing. Still shading here, by the way, if you're wondering what is going on. It goes on for a fair old bit. I have to tell you that for nothing. Jav Salim, good evening, my friend. Good evening to you, Jav Salim, my friend. Lovely to have you with us. You're looking well, says Sharon McBain. I can't complain, Sharon. I have to be honest. Which local minister would you choose, Scotty? Says Kieran Fox. I don't quite know what you mean by that. Local minister. Uh, How was your day, Scotty? Says Thomas Hamilton. A fabulous day, Thomas Hamilton. But I had to sort out one or two things with Facebook. With a problem with the page last night, which is why you didn't get show 85. At 9 o'clock sharp last night, Sunday evening, 9 o'clock sharp, British summer time. So there you are. Of course, in the winter, it is Greenwich mean time so there we go now uh let's see what i've got here um i'm just gonna keep sharing guys to see if we can get some things in this one's a little bit on the slow side right give us the gossip scotty well i'll tell you something you shall admit me stir up some trouble scotty some controversy do you not think i've caused enough controversy for one lifetime there will be a lot more though actually there are plans in the pipeline you are the biggest radio legend ever a complete superstar if i had a station you'd be on 24 hours a day a top colleague of mine at itv once said to me he said scotty he said if lou grade was still alive you would never be off our television screens what about that how amazing is that harry marshall senior hello scotty good evening harry marshall senior lovely to have you with us Guys, can you get sharing and sharing and sharing to all your followers and all your groups? Let's have a share, share, share. Glad to hear it, says Sharon McBain. Keep your hand in your hitney, says Stuart Diamond. Absolutely right, Stuart Diamond. Very important. What I was thinking today, should we take smokers and put them in an institution because they are actually psychologically unwell? That's what I would say. Evening, Scotty, says Michael Paul McVeigh. And um, have to agree, the biggest drop of the ball was when they kicked you off here, says Sharon McBain. I know, what a silly thing to do. And I always remember the manager the next day being interviewed with one of the big tabloid newspapers, and they said, what do you think you're doing getting our Scotty off the airwaves? And he said, well, we are not a one-trick pony. <laughs> Newsflash. Right. Hi, Scotty. Missed you last night. I'm watching you with my best mate, Brun, says Chris Kelly. You're fab. Dinky-do, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. And good evening to Brun. I say, hello, Brun. Right, if you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching me, Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one. Facebook Live, the one everyone's watching. The one everyone is talking about. This is show number 85. You didn't get it last night because we had a little gremlin in the system. I do sincerely apologize. Uh, J'apologise. Uh, um, je m'excuse en français. Uh, en Italia. Uh, scusi, scusi. So there we go. And uh, I know. Complete buffoons. So Sharon McBain. Very, very strange thing to do. And uh, the radio in Scotland has never ever since recovered been under all sorts of different names it's never recovered since scotty mcclue was last on so there you are that's not arrogant or something that's just telling you up front the facts facts are facts opinions are opinions 
Um, which Home Secretary would you choose, Scotty? There's been some great Home Secretaries, I'll tell you. Rab Butler was Home Secretary. He was a Conservative Home Secretary. Rab Butler. Willie Whitelaw was uh, another great Home Secretary. Willie was a, a, a Scots Guards officer. So there you are, Willie Whitelaw. Uh, that's a true fact, says Sharon. Uh, done it, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. Excellent, folks. Keep sharing and sharing and sharing. You can never actually share too much. I'm doing, as we're talking, I'm busy just sharing away here. It's rather good. What's your thoughts on the vape pens? David Lee Weir. I used to be a big one. I used to try and, um, you know, I was one of the ones that helped to get people off cigarettes and thought the vape thing was a great idea. But I have to be absolutely honest with you. Um, I'm less enthusiastic about it now. I really am. Because uh, they say that the chemicals that you're sucking into your lungs when you're vaping are uh, not much better. They're, they're dangerous. Uh, not perhaps in the same way that the, the smoke is. But uh, they are nevertheless still dangerous. And we don't want that. Do you know what I mean? We don't actually want that. I'm just... I'm still sharing, guys. I'm going to share to another group because I think that's very important. And if you can do the same. So that's my thoughts, David Lee Weir. I'm not keen on the vaping. But I think we should start to round up the smokers and say, sorry, chum, but you're going to have to come in for a obligatory treatment. Uh, sharing is caring, says Eddie Doby Sr. Eddie Doby Sr., lovely to have you with us. Sharing is caring, dinky-doo. Um, Amber Rudd resigns. Traffic lights are all green now. <laughs> Amber and Rudd resigns. Get it, get it. Very good. Off the cigarettes for 14 years this August. Very proud of this, says James Bauer. Yes, James Bauer, I used to get people off them on air. I haven't had a cigarette now for, ooh, years and years, maybe 20 years, something like that. Agreed. Says Sharon McBain. Sharon McBain, you and I agree on lots and lots of things. Absolutely agreed. Everybody keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. I'm doing the same here. Just popping out the odd wee group every so often. There are people vaping who have never smoked. Now, Paul Smith, that is a shame. I'm so sorry to hear that. There are people vaping who have never smoked. That cannot be good. So there we are. Just sharing with another. Uh, I'll just put live now there we go live uh, i'll just put that up there and uh, pop this in right there's some more sharing for you keep sharing share with my friends Sharon McBain, thank you very much if you're in a group guys then share to your group uh i you got the single mothers off here as well scotty so Sharon McBain. well absolutely we did have a serious word with the single mothers because in those days i thought they could do better i really did Hello, sir. How are you? Says Joseph. Joseph, dink you do. Lovely to hear from you. Vapes burn holes in your lungs, says Alistair King. Well, I'm sure they're not terribly good for us, Alistair. I will say that. Uh, Kevin Barry Doherty, dink you do. Sharon McBain, yes. People vape to be social. Now, think about it. What is social about sucking stuff into your lungs? What is social about cigarette smoking? What's even social about alcohol? There you go. A friend of mine said, come on, I want to take you out for a drink. I've got something to tell you. And it was something important he wanted to tell me. And he thought that if we had a refreshment, it would be easier to say. And I said to him, just say. You don't need a refreshment. Just say. So there we are. Uh, Andy Hood's watching. Dink you do, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. Mark Coleman on there. Hello, Mark. Lovely to hear from you as well. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the Scotty McClue Show, show number 85. We're live as we speak on Facebook Live. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. Say dinky-doo to Scotty McClue globally, right across the globe. Let us know where you're watching. If you're watching in Australia or New Zealand or Canada or America, let us know the Arctic, the Antarctic. I've just shared it to a few. Port Glasgow groups, the Stuart Diamond, excellent. The port, a fine, fine part of the world. 
And uh, is this live? It's not Sunday, says Douglas McPherson. Douglas McPherson, it is very, very much live. I say to you, it's not Sunday, but we had a problem last night. We weren't able to deliver the show. So there are, I couldn't get on to the page. The gremlins were abroad, as they say. Uh, but uh, it's not Sunday, it's, it's, it's Monday, and it's show number 85. So we are live, of course. Stuart Diamond says, I'm in Cornwall. Stuart's in Cornwall. Lovely to have you with us. Well, I, I don't know. I, how are you this afternoon? I say to you, down in Cornwall. Uh, excellent. I'm about to announce a big show in East Coast Bride in the next few days. If anyone out there likes live music, get in touch through social media. So there you are, James Burr. Big live show in East Coast Bride. Excellent stuff. He's talking about it there. Feel free to come on, folks, if you've just joined us. Welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live. Also, can I say, follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. All right, follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. Tom Booth, I'm in Blackpool. Didn't you do, Tom? I was thinking about Blackpool today. Used to go out to Blackpool, Saturday, Sunday nights. When I was broadcasting on Red Rose Radio. Shane Hiata. Hello, Shane. It's better on a Monday. It cheers you up after a hard day's work. Gets rid of the Monday blues, says Alistair King. There's somebody, a uh, Ansom, says Stuart Diamond. You're Ansom, or a uh, Ansom, or Ancoats. Shane says, I'm in Florida. Fantastic, Shane. So we've got somebody in Blackpool, somebody in Florida. And uh, somebody in Cornwall. Scotty, is it fair to come Scotland tomorrow again are being made the trial run and price increases on booze? Michael Paul McVeigh, yes. Scotland are always guinea pigs for something. See, try it out on the jocks is what they think down in Westminster. But to be quite honest with you, um, I think Scotland could do very well on its own. And that's not me being political or party political or anything, just purely from a point of view of economics. I think Scotland will do very well. What time are you on, Scott? This is Thomas Hamilton. Well, we're on Sunday nights, Thomas, 9 o'clock sharp, British summertime, BST, because people are watching from all over the world. So, uh, you know, we let them know there. Uh, there's Rab Butler here, Shank Hill Road in Belfast. Are you in the Shank Hill in Belfast, Rab? That's absolutely amazing. It's lovely to have you with us, wee man. I'll say that to you, you know what I'm saying? Get everybody from the province on here. Uh, so there you go. Uh, well, no, what time are you on to tonight, says Thomas Hamilton? Oh, just so you get fed up, Thomas, so maybe another couple of minutes. That would be the thing. But no, no, I wanted to come on and give you show number 85. And just to let you know what had happened last night by way of an apology, by way of making amends. Here's a new name for suggestion for your new show when you get it started. Give us them a clue with Scotty Dinky Doo. Robert McHardy, you cannot stop the poetry, can you? So there we are. Hamilton Scotty. Oh, excellent. Sharon is in Hamilton, a fine part of the world. I know it well. I used to broadcast from Hamilton. So there we are. Cool, mate, says Thomas Hamilton. Cool to you, mate, as well. I don't really go in for the word mate, to be honest with Thomas, because I think that's a sort of southern English thing. It's more a London thing. I lie, mate, you know, that sort of thing. It's not really something. The only reason I would use mate is if somebody had been at sea with me. So there you are, or we're in the Mercantile Marine, in the Merchant Navy. Scotty for Prime Minister, you'd kick this country right into touch, uh, back into touch. Well, I think we could certainly do some things. I was wondering today, do you think I would make a good Member of Parliament, a Mike Papa? Would you vote for Scotty McClue as an MP? It was just a thought that crossed my mind. Okay, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. That's better, pal. Although pal can sometimes be used as a wee bit of a threat, can't you? I'll tell you, son, you better watch yourself, pal. You know, that kind of thing. Folk, I've heard people come out with that sort of stuff. Not to me, obviously, they wouldn't risk that. But, you know, interesting. So there you go. Now, more shares. Uh, let's have some more shares. Everybody, share, 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 share. share. What are we doing time-wise? Oh my goodness me. 
It's uh, half past eight. Time flies when you're enjoying yourself. I always say it just absolutely shoots by. Scotty, how many bonnets have you got? Oh, stacks and stacks of them. Every time I get signed up for a new show, the boss says, no, that's all your things sorted out in your contract, Scotty. Is there anything else you were wanting? I say, yeah, would there be any chance of a, maybe a new bonnet? I know it's a bit pricey. I say, how much are they? I say, well, I can get them for maybe about eight pounds. Oh, yes. So there we go. Uh, good to see you back, Sir Thomas. Thank you very much. The Right Honourable, says Sharon McBain. Yes, the Right Honourable Scotty McClue. May I ask the Right Honourable Gentleman opposite? Oh, could you imagine? What the Honourable Gentleman, I think, is attempting to say, Roy, but not with a great degree of clarity, Roy, resign. All that stuff. Uh, Sharon says, please say hello to Andrew Scotty. Of course, Andrew, dinky-doo. Scotty McClure. Hi, Scotty from sunny Inverness. Inverness. Alan Morrison there is up in Ishniki in Inverness. Uh, I'm going to Skype you. I'm going to Skype you. Right you, says Paul Francis Carroll. Right you. So there we go. Excellent stuff. And that's marvellous. So we've had an Invernesian, uh, a Cornwallian. Yes. Uh, who else have we had? Who did we have there? Um, with somebody from, come on, come on, come on, come on, Dublin. Somebody in Belfast. We had them on in Belfast as well. Tremendous stuff. This is what I say, the power of social media. Massive, massive audiences, guys. But get it out there. It's up to you. Let's just see how many folk we can get on at one time. So if we all keep sharing, there's Thomas has just shared. And the king sits in Dunfermline in Tudon, says Alistair King. He does indeed. And what does the king do as he sits in Dunfermline Tudon? Alistair King, come on, spill, spill, I say. Hey, Paisley, there's Peter Ewing and Paisley, dinky. Swell to great, says Paul Francis Carroll. Absolutely, swell to great. I think I could probably plug the organ in and we could get swell to great. But uh, the other thing I was going to say, Paul Francis Carroll, what about solo to choir? Once in Royal David City, that would be solo, wouldn't it? Just starting off, and then you could go solo to choir. I wonder if we can uh, plug the organ in. I've got the organ sitting here. I wonder if we could maybe get something on the go here. I should have thought of this, but time was getting on. And I just decided we'd better press on. So that's what happened. There's a lovely Scotty McClure badge for you. Can you all see that? You'll see it backwards lightly. Well, that's the Scotty McClure badge. Marvellous stuff. Scotty McClure live. There, well, that was 96.3. You see there, Q96. And there's the Scotty McClure badge for you guys. What about that? Never a dull moment. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yes, oh, everything's here, my goodness me. And uh, what do you think? Do, do you know what I think? I think Brexit won't actually happen, apart from perhaps in name only. Drink whiskey, says Alistair King. Uh, Scotty, what should I do? Should I tan a litre of vodka or tan my wrists instead, says Peter Boyle. I think, Peter Boyle, you should tan your shoes, right? Get a good polish on them. You get the old cherry out. And, uh, and if you'll pardon the expression, and tan your shoes. That's what I think we're looking for here. Now, where is the, uh, what is it you would call it, Paul Francis Carroll, the flex? Where is the flex for this? Does anybody know? I'm just having a look round at what is what here. This may be, I maybe shouldn't really have started this, because this is going to be quite a big operation. But I was looking to see if I could find the flex. And I've got something here. Whether it works or not, I don't know. I'll have another look. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Right. I'm going to attempt something. And uh, how wise it is, I don't actually know. I'm going to attempt it. Let me see what we've got here that I can be using. Um, I don't want to unplug everything in case I actually unplug you guys. And we don't really want that. Um, but what I'm going to do... I'm just going to see what I can get here and get a wee bit of 
purchase. Right, I'm even sure I started this operation, but I'm going to do it. This is for Paul Francis Carroll. Uh, Sieve it, says Sharon McBrain. Sieve it, uh, Sharon McBrain. Need to get some fishing files on your bonnet, Scotty. Yes, fishing flies. I think you mean flies. Oh, it is flies. I thought it said files. See it, says Sharon McBean. See it, I know. Absolutely. Hold on two seconds. Just get that for you. Yes, absolutely. Just broadcasting at the moment. Call you back. Excellent stuff. Right. I don't know who that was, but I've told them we're broadcasting and they can get it back. Now, we were looking to see if we can get something in the org. Excuse me a second. I may just disappear on you. If I disappear, don't panic. Do not panic. Don't panic. Stupid boy. Right. Uh, that's that. Now, oh, we're in business here. Paul Francis Carroll. Never a dull moment, my boy. Right. I know I shouldn't have started that. It's a long operation. But nevertheless, there's always room for that sort of thing. Right. Now, uh, can you hear that, Paul Francis Carroll? Have you got that? of that Paul Francis Carroll can you name that tune in one he's a tune Scotty says James Barr just done it I can hear that says Paul Francis Carroll brilliant says James Barr but what was the tune Paul Francis Carroll can you name that in one I am testing one of the world's great organists here live on Facebook live and he will come up trumps I am quite sure so there we are. Keep sharing, guys. Share, 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 share as much as you possibly can. Now, I'm just going to pop this out again and uh, share now in public. That's it. Excellent stuff. That's gone up there. Share on the timeline. We'll share on Dimkey Do. Share to the page. Share to the page. You don't get many pages to the pound these days. And uh, we shall pop that up. Um, now then, I want to book you for a show. Says James Bauer, what a lovely thing that would be. James Bauer, never a dull moment. And uh, I'm just going to send this out to uh, Dinky Doo. Right, so this is going to Dinky Doo to let everybody know we are live now. There we go. Uh, Harry Seacom, eat your heart out. So excellent stuff. Donny. Uh, so there you are. Donny, says Thomas Hamilton. Oh, done. Done. Sorry, Thomas. You, in other words, you have actually shared Scotty McClue. Guys, if you've just joined me and you're wondering what on earth you're looking at on your Facebook page, it's me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, broadcasting live on Facebook Live just for you and saying dinky do to every single one of you. Harry Seacombe. Do you remember Harry? Lovely, lovely man. And um, I've actually worked with him, believe it or not. Do you remember the Highway series? Harry used to do Highway. Lovely, lovely man. And he used to say, there's only one thing better than a Welshman, and that's two Scotsmen. So that was <laughs> that was the great Harry Seacombe. And uh, what else? Come on then, requests. I'll give you a request. See if we can get something for you. I have to swing round a wee bit here. Near the organ now. Have I shown you? There's the organ there. Can you see it? Wait till we see if we can get you. Can we see that? Uh, oh, oh yes, you've just seen it. There you are. You see, so you know it's the genuine article. You know, I am not larking about. Uh, who remembers Harry Seacombe? How amazing is that? When fantastic stuff. And uh, we've got the full organ here. So we can do...
Loch Lomond. Right. He's a good man. He's a great man. Loch Lomond, did you recognise that, guys? Dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue. Now, uh, you'll all want to go, yes, your beauty, Scotty, says James Bauer. Excellent stuff. If you want to give us requests, we can always manage a little bit of that. So there you are. And um, some of the great big, do you remember the great big hymns we used to sing when you along to Mass and along to the church? And uh, we sang these things. Highland Laddie. Or Highland Cathedral, Highland Laddie is a... Uh... Yes, A Major Paul Francis Caro, you're obviously playing along with me. Fantastic stuff. There we are, a little fun in A flat, of course, and air on a G string. Uh, tremendous stuff. Top class, says Robert McCarty. Top class to yourself, Robert. Not a problem at all. We can do all these things, you see. Uh, loads of hearts, please, guys. Can everybody tap, 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 tap with the hearts so that we can get that sorted out? That'd be tremendous stuff. Well done, Scotty, says Alistair King. I thank you, Alistair King. Well done to you as well, sir. And uh, what else have we got? What else is happening? What a busy, busy day it's been. Now, can I just do a tiny bit of housekeeping? If you're a linked in person, come and link in to Scotty McClure and look at what's going on there. If you're a Facebook person, get on to all the Scotty McClure Facebook pages. Dinky do Scotty hyphen McClure.com. Get yourself on there. And uh, also, if you're a YouTube person, the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, right? Just put that in to your search engine. Great show this, folks, says James Barr. Absolutely, James. That's because of you guys. The public make the show. McClue is the catalyst, but the public make the show. And if we share and share and share, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Dance with your granny and your auntie fanny uh, remember that one when you get to the other side thomas hamilton dinky do thank you very much for the hearts lots of hearts to you guys now can we have another share we've got a few minutes left um, I'll push off in about five minutes' time, guys. But can we have some more shares? Share, 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 share. Can everyone share and with the groups? Tell a million. To tell a million, James Bauer, I say. You're the best, says Paul Francis Carroll. No, no, Paul Francis Carroll. Not a patch on your good self. So there we are. Uh, what have we had here? Please, please share. Get the numbers up, says Sharon McBean. Absolutely, Sharon McBean. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And we shall do that. Do you remember this one? Um, remember this one, Paul Francis Carroll? There we are. Uh, tell, 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 you can't shove your granny off a bus, says James Bauer, um, on the organ.
for goodness sake, you love the church on doing the nut. You can't have, you can't shove your granny off on the pipe organ live. There we are, Francis Carroll. The fastest out of the week, says Paul Smith. It has flown in, Paul Smith, tonight. I have to say, brilliant, says James Barron. There we are. I know, for goodness sake, the pipe organ. We've got you can't shove your granny off a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Hamilton, Celtic songs. I don't think we'll go there, Thomas, but thank you for asking. Uh, I can't get my granny off the drugs, says Eddie Doby Sr. I know it's quite frightening. It really is. Lovely smile, Scotty, says Sharon McBee. <laughs> thank you, Sharon. Bless you. I say, very, very kind of you. Um, show us your organ, Scotty. I did. I showed you it. There it's there. Can you see it? Oh, right. That's it. That's all you're getting. There we are. No Celtic songs. It's not football platforms, as Sharon McBean. You're quite right, Sharon McBean. I have just told him exactly the same thing. Although I have to say, yesterday's game was pretty amazing, wasn't it? So there you are. But no. We're not a football platform, so there you are. Uh, right, last share, and then I shall push off. So uh, if we get one more share, 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 share. Dinky do, my wonderful hero, says Paul Francis Carroll. Dinky do to you, my wonderful hero. Dinky do, Padre and Kiri Elezong, I say. Edward Strang steals watching. Hi, Ed. Dinky do over in the US of A. Lovely to have you with us, Ed. A top man there. How are you, Scotty? Says Gene Smith. Gene, I'm wonderful. Lovely to hear from you, and thanks for coming on. It's been an amazing show. I'm very glad I popped up tonight to see all you beautiful people. I think it's very, very important. So there you are, that we keep in touch. And as I say, we didn't manage to get a show last night. So that was a wee bit of a problem. Uh, thank you, Scotty. PM me, says James Barr. Absolutely, James. Uh, Paul Francis Carroll, a lovely big smile from you and dinky do. Lots of books, Scotty. What's your favourite topic? Oh, Sharon, that's just a tiny bit of books. Everything, absolutely anything and everything. I have studied. I've got a friend that says... Check out, put it into your search engine, look it up, check it up. I says, listen, I was around long before there were any search engines. And we had to learn it all out of the books, talking to people, conversation, watching, listening, all that kind of thing. And in those days, of course, the days of Scotty McClure, the uh, radio was highly entertaining. Everybody listened. When I look at it, some of our audiences were nudging quarter of a million people per half hour quarter of a million people per half hour and now i see people saying we've got half a million people have listened to our station uh, over the last seven days and i think what about scotty mcclue quarter of a million every half hour over three hours now you're talking so there we go your grandma and my grandma sitting by the fire says Thomas Hamilton. Yes, he used to sit by the fire and put the radio on, an appointment to listen. The Scotty McClure Massive Mighty Megaphone in. 10 o'clock sharp to 1 in the morning. Five nights a week. Who remembers that? So there you are. Uh, I think your midweek surprise show should be a regular thing, says Paul Smith. Well, if it's a regular thing, Paul Smith, it wouldn't be a surprise. That's the thing. Best show on the internet, says James. Thank you, James. Lovely, lovely to be with us. Right. I'm going to push off now, guys. You have been so beautiful tonight. Mwah! I love you. I love you. And there's not a thing you can do about it. So keep in touch with yourselves. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. I shall sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of wheat or zane, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, everybody. Thanks for being with us. See if I can play us out. <laughs>
dinky doom alas, Scotty McClue has left the building. Ooh.